Ryan Lindley, back on the Scott and BR Show. Good morning, Ryan. Good morning, guys. How you doing? We're doing great. You're probably wondering, like, what do you guys want to talk to me about right now? It's not in season. What's up? Are you concerned about that? <laughs> no, no, never. All right. Uh, the real reason we, we called is because... Uh, I don't know about you, but I mean, and I, you've used this word a million times on the air. Excited! I think everybody's excited based on poinsettia bowl to Sweet Sixteen. Hurry up and get us back to football. So, so where are you guys right about this time of the year? You know, we uh, we finished up with with our spring practices uh, about two to three weeks ago, um, and we're just kind of we're getting back in the weight room, and it's it's good for us. We got a lot of young guys that. That can definitely develop uh, physically a little bit. That's going to come with with just time and the hard work they put in. And we're just excited to see these guys grow, and then the older guys just continue to set that example. Ryan, you have the you had the changes that took place in the coaching staff. How is that going to affect what we see on the field? You know, not too much. I mean, it's uh, it's, it's something that it worked last year, and, and we know that, and the, the coaching staff knows that. So there's some wrinkles that, that they're going to put in, and they're going to they're going to add to to what we do as a team on offense and defense, but. For the most part, it's, it's going to be uh, going to be a similar team you see out there. The defense is, is doing great. They're going to run out there. They're going to be aggressive, and, and they got some guys that can really make plays in space. All right, Ryan Lindley, the quarterback from San Diego State, checking in this morning on Scott Br. By the way, we are going to do this periodically with you, regardless of uh, it's the middle of the Padre season or the NBA playoffs or whatever. We just want to keep in touch and know exactly what's going on as we get uh, excited for next season. What are you going to do at the wide receiver position, considering you're losing two guys that seem to be headed towards the NFL? You know, it's uh, we got some young talent, and, and there's some guys that registered last year that are that are solid players that have a lot of athletic ability and, and they have a lot of promise. They just got a lot of potential to them, and, and it comes down to just just bring that out of them. And our wide receivers coach, uh, Charles McDaniel, is a, a great one, and, and he obviously you know brought these guys like DJ and Demarco up and, and really mentored them and and made them into the receivers they are today. And I think it's something that he can do a, a similar job on these guys, these young guys. And it's just going to be on them to continue to work hard. And a part of that's what we're doing right now in the weight room and for them to get bigger and faster and stronger so they can uh, they can get up and play at this level. Yeah, and, it, and it's got to be, listen, the, the whole foundation of the offense, you got four out of the five offensive linemen back, you have your running back back. And really, Ronnie Hillman just tearing it up. And, I mean, if you're a wide receiver just entering into this huddle – well, you realize the potential that it means for you. I mean, this is a, an incredible opportunity. Yeah, definitely. And, and like you said, I think that's one key is, is the the guys going to come back on the offensive line and how great of a job they did last year. And Trask, the guy that left, he, he did an awesome job at the center spot. But, but we're going to have somebody slide down and take over, and I feel like they're going to do just a bit of a job. But, um, yeah, for sure. I mean, they, they, they come in and – it's a different feel from last year, where it's kind of DeMarco and VJ were, were the guys coming in that everyone knew about. And, and now with what Ronnie did, everybody's going to know about him. I think we're going to have a lot of things to throw at people and uh, kind of keep defenses on their toes. Ryan, are you, are you glad? Uh, I mean, you, you figure looking into your senior into your last year in an ASIC uniform, and you, you're going, well, at least the NFL will get their stuff together, and, and I won't have to worry about any of this, this garbage they, that the players are now dealing with. Think about yeah, that at all? I mean, it's, it's I guess it's uh it's time out good for me, but you know I'm really uh I, I've been keeping my mind off that stuff and and since kind of that, that decision making process passed, I'm uh I'm focused on the aspects right now and, and making this 2011 season great. I would think that that's a good thing. I think we we also lost Mr. Kaplan again. Sorry about we'll we'll, we'll move I'm on. Try, I'm trying, but oh, I got, got some kind it. of a connection <laughs> problem going on here with the microphone. I'll work it out. Okay, Ryan, let me ask you this. Did you and the team in the middle of spring football draw inspiration from the basketball team? In other words, you see how much attention they got, how much it brought to San Diego State, and how much respect those guys were getting. Um, if it were me and I were the quarterback, a senior quarterback, I would be like, guys, that's, that's what we want. And, and I'm just wondering if you guys were using that at all during spring. Yeah, you know, I think we're, I think everybody on, on campus and, and even in San Diego was, was definitely inspired by what these guys did this year. And they had an awesome season and an awesome group of guys and Coach Fisher's a great coach. And, and it's something that, I mean, we got a taste of it last year and what we did and how we improved. But for sure, um, it was something that, uh, you know, you realize that, that people try to downplay San Diego and San Diego State. But, but you know, that, that was what the national recognition they got that, you know, it, it happens when you win, when you play well. And that's what we know too that, 
that you get things done on the field and you're going to get that kind of uh, those kind of accolades. Ryan, give us a give us a name of a guy that we might not be familiar with that that's going to take uh, the Mountain West Conference and maybe college football by storm. That's on on your team right now. Do you got a guy? I'd say uh, Dylan Denzel, man. He's uh, he's our he's our West Welker. I don't know how else to describe him, but just uh, a tough football player. He's coming in. And he had a couple catches last year. Kind of came in as our fourth receiver, and, and he's really kind of blossomed. He's taken on the role. He's an, he's an extremely hard worker. And, and uh, I mean, he just catches whatever's thrown at him. So he's a guy that, uh, that you love to play with and and uh, love to throw the ball to. I don't know that he's going to love the comparison, Wes Welker. <laughs> I mean, dude, Dylan's like six two, and like I mean, I'm I'm sure he's going to bring that up to you sometime today if if he's heard the interview. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> we'll go with a uh, mix between a uh, bigger, maybe a Joe Jeravicious and a Wes Welker. Yeah, yeah. Wow, a Joe Jeravicious <laughs> reference. Great name. Way to go! Wow. So, <laughs> any other white wide receivers you can name for <laughs> us this yeah, morning? We, we can just keep. We'll go. Uh, we have all work. We can just keep it going. I mean, That's right. What I'll was the? We'll put him on that level, though. Uh, what was the guy's name a couple years ago for the Broncos? Eddie McCaffrey. Right. Ed McCaffrey. Yes, he's our Ed McCaffrey. Yeah. Uh, Joe Jaravicious, Ed McCaffrey, Wes Welker, Wes Welker. Lance Allworth. That's mm-hmm. four. Mm-hmm. Give me another. Come Steve on. Largent. Come on, oh, dude. Hey, please. Hey, Billy Ray. Now you're. Anybody else playing currently that you would say is a star receiver in the NFL that's a white guy that white guys have to be compared to? I'm trying to think. Anybody else? Anybody? Mm-hmm. Sorry. Anybody? <laughs> Lindley? Anybody? It's uh... I don't know. Good answer, though. They, they, this is a guy that people are going to find out about this year. That's right. exciting. Uh-huh. All right. Yeah, for sure. He's a he's a, he's a good kid. What puts his work in, and he's definitely going to kind of take over a leadership role too in that wide receiver room, and with the, the older guys leaving, and, and him and Nico kind of trying to have to step up and uh, and, and get the younger guys in line. All right, so what's going on next? What do you when, when are like finals and when does summer break come and when when do you when do you stop going to school or do you go all the way through? It's kind of it's kind of nonstop. Uh, I mean, we just had spring break two weeks ago and um, finals are going to be kind of the beginning of May, so uh, just kind of the whole stretch there. But then I think um, two weeks later we're back in summer school and and we'll start our summer program and our summer workout. So you know it's. Uh, you got about a one or two week break in between everything, but you're you're basically going nonstop. I realize you don't have to divulge this, but uh, how are the grades looking? They're good. Yep. They're good. I'm definitely. Uh, I mean, it's it's something you got to think about too, with with what you want to do plan B wise and and get into grad school. So I'm definitely been uh, been working on getting those up. Outstanding. Grad school. Grad school. He said grad school. You talking about going to grad school? Yeah, I mean, I. I First, I want to be a uh, high school teacher, so that's gonna that's gonna be in the plan somewhere. All right, well, concentrate on getting to the NFL because <laughs> if you concentrate on getting to the NFL, that means you're gonna play better for San Diego State. You play better for San Diego State, there's gonna be more wins, like that game at Michigan this year. Mm. That's what we want you to concentrate on. Yeah, for sure. All right, Ryan, great talking to you this morning. Appreciate you checking in. Thanks very much. Thanks, Ryan. No problem. Thank you guys. All right.